Hi, I'm Malcolm from Woodwork and Machinery Services. And today I'm going to show you how to quickly clean the, the vacuum pump on a CNC machine. The machine we're working with today is Masterwood and the vacuum pump is a Becker pump which is probably the most commonly used vacuum pumps in the marketplace for woodworking CNC machines. So, the model of vacuum pump today is a VTLF250. Uh, this will look very familiar to many people out in the industry. So, this is a newer model where there's only two filters. We have an internal filter, which is what I'm basically taking the cover off for now. As you can see, they have a clear cover so you can actually see how much dust is built up in the filter in the first place. So how often this needs to be cleaned it certainly depends on how much use the machine gets and also if any dust actually gets through the seal on the bed of the table uh, into the vacuum hose itself so theoretically this shouldn't happen but it uh, often does and uh, this needs to be cleaned accordingly it could be once a month could be once every year so uh, but because you have the clear cover it's um, you can see firsthand so very simple if you see any dust in there just blow it out as you can see, this one has very little dust in it. On this newer range of VTLF250 pumps, your greasing points are right here next to the filter itself. The actual grease gun comes on the side of the, um, of the pump itself. So you can see it's a, a concave grease nipple and basically it just goes onto the grease nipple itself. Quick couple of pushes. And that's pumping fresh grease into the, both the front and the rear bearings on the pump itself. On the previous models to this one, basically they were on top, so if that's the case, just make sure that the grease nipples themselves are clean before you go and pump some fresh grease in, of course. So the grease is the same, it's a high temperature bearing grease. So once you've done that, the cover can go back on. The external filter, which is this one here, basically how that works, you can see there's, there's two ports going into the internal of the pump. When the valve on the bed is, is activated, you're obviously sucking through the, this pipe here, which is basically the vacuum underneath the, the sheet on the table. We're talking about a nesting table here. Uh, when it's not sucking through the table, in other words, the pump is running, but the vacuum is not um, activated through the, through the pump itself, or through the, uh, the valve, it's sucking generally from atmosphere. So that's why they have this snorkel filter on here. So you'll also find this one here theoretically should build up with far more dust than the internal one. So again, uh, when you're cleaning this, just give it a good clean. This one will have to be done more regular, of course, because it is sucking from atmosphere. So as you can see, it's not a clear cover. So as for how often that needs to be done is completely relevant to how, how much your um, using the machine and how much dust you actually have floating in the air. So this could be weekly or monthly, but certainly not yearly like um, the internal one on some rare cases. So uh, that's a very, very, very basic rundown of um, how to look after your vacuum pump.